This is me, walking down the runway of Vancouver Fashion Week, pretending that I am a top model. I have no idea what I'm doing, and I put together my outfit as cheap as possible. But everybody is loving me. So how did we get here in the first place? Well, to understand everything, let's start off in the beginning with this invitation to Vancouver Fashion Week. Okay, so this is pretty crazy. Like, I never expected them to invite me out of all people. My repertoire of videos are food challenges. Why am I going to a fashion show? Well, that's because, let me show you guys something. Check it out. I used to, I designed clothing back in the days. These shoes were not made because I don't know how to make shoes. Don't know any suppliers, but I think this event is basically God's calling. It's time for redemption. Objective one, design an outfit. The world of fashion is very strange in that you can wear whatever you want as long as you look presentable. This time I want to make an outfit with as little money as possible because what, what the frick are these prices? So I do have a few ideas on what I could be doing. I'm going to use AI to generate some images of what I'm thinking of. My plan was to find a bunch of cloth scraps and making an outfit out of it. And I have a few methods of doing so. The first one, dumpster diving. Apparently people sometimes find crazy stuff while doing so and i wanted to try the same so i'm currently at downtown just down this fashion street a lot of store here that sells like top designer fashions let's take a look if there's any alleyways that have like trash where they like you know throw out their outdated products so i made a right into the back alleyways of these designer brands and right off the bat i think i was in for some unlucky times all of the dumpsters are basically locked the ones that were unlocked had nothing of value it was basically all trash <laughs> I don't know what I expected, to be honest. The best thing I could find was his used underwear. Now don't worry, because I have another idea. We're going to a fashion university. That's right, it's a fashion school called the Wilson School of Design. If you're an international student, they will ruin your life. I don't know what that means, and I have a few questions. First of all, who are they? And second of all, how will they ruin my life? Turns out, this place is actually pretty cool. Several stories of all fashions and designs that made me say wow as I turned each corner. Eventually, I spotted a decapitated body and some yarn. But to be fair, I was kind of hesitant about taking anything from here because, you know, I'm too young to be jailed as a criminal. But then I absolutely struck gold when I found this corner with the bag of fabric scraps fucking jackpot i took the bag of scraps and boy did it wait a ton i was excited thinking about the possibilities i could have using these for my next project i stuck out of the building without anybody questioning me great success but unfortunately it kind of all went downhill as i was opening it up and piecing them all together it was quite clear why they were all thrown away these things were way too small to be pieced out into an actual clothing article but at least he looks nice though okay so this might not work i just don't have the right tools for this i've been trying to like cut patterns onto this cloth i wanted to be like you know some sort of scarf but this is much harder than i expected eventually i found an unkept needle inside the clothes stack so i decided to move my attention somewhere else so operation freedom fighter is a total bust who knew that my lack of experience would be a huge hindrance that's okay we got a contingency plan i guess doing this for free is out of the picture so i wanted to make a decent looking outfit at a cheap price but also having some kind of wow factor to impress the people there now my first candidate for accessory is this goose i got it for free off Timu. next up are these crazy ass shoes which i got off taobao for a hundred bucks i got them last year off taobao didn't have a chance to wear them and i think they just look so damn cool afterwards i went out to find clothing that would tie up the outfit together and what better way to save money than to visit thrift stores now i had two pieces of outfit black shoes and a white goose for accessory now i think that if we get some leather pants or something similar and a black turtleneck along with a coat it would tie up the outfit nicely so that's what i did went around the city looking at thrift stores and what they had for options but to be honest it wasn't really anything i was looking for but damn do i look spiffy in that suit but eventually i came to the thrift store and resold designer brands and that's when i found some really cool stuff rainbow suits that cost way too much these awesome mirror sunglasses a green leather jacket this fur coat that cost a thousand dollars even second hand and eventually i found the perfect pants that i was looking for and it was only 36 dollars uh, uh, yeah. i went into the fitting room and tried it out and it was a perfect fit and there we go we got our bottom for this outfit all right so next up i want a turtleneck next up was a turtleneck and i knew exactly where i wanted to go uni club i have never worn a turtleneck in my life but i feel like this would really tie up the look it makes me look like steve jobs i'll take it the medium size was a great fit and there we go we got it okay so i'm back home i got the <sighs> turtleneck up and running so for coat i'm just gonna use my normal coat because it turns out i look actually pretty good in this so i'm gonna use the normal coat i'll show you what i want to do okay so i grabbed a handful of safety pins from uniqlo right here we're gonna try to pin the goose onto my coat And with that, my perfect creation was born.
All right, I'm at my friend's house. He says he has a crazy ass costume. How's it going? This is my friend Kevin. You've seen him in past videos, and he's gonna be my plus one for this event. But obviously, the, he wasn't gonna wear this costume for the entire show, because first of all, it's ridiculous, and second of all, it's way too hot. So I went upstairs to see if I can make him a new outfit. Dude, yeah, this is funny, this is funny. some issues. Bring this guy. My little buddy. Yeah. So after taking a look at his wardrobe and advising him what to wear, we finally got done, but we were actually a bit late. So the unfortunate thing is uh, I didn't respond to the RSVP for today, the 22nd. I want to see if they can like, we can just sneak in. This brings us to objective two, get into the show. Let's go. Walking on three. There we go. I was extremely nervous here because I did not have a ticket. But these guys only checked for IDs. They thought it was a duck, it's a goose. As I walked in, I just randomly head into the line and showed them the email that they sent me. And I was in. No, we got in. Holy shit. And this place was great. There was an entire balcony overlooking the runway and then some snacks for you to refresh yourself on. I grabbed these clum drinks because I was kind of thirsty and had a toast with my boy Kevin. And also took one of their clam chowders. I mean, I really can't complain about free soup, but I guess the portion was a little small. They got three comments on my goose already. There's like people loving this. On the other side of the balcony, it was again another opening towards the runway in the middle. Now my objective has updated. I'm gonna walk down the runway and then try to get on that stage right there. So let's try to get into the lounge. Alright, we good? Alright. At first I thought the entrance would be at the end of this, through this door that says do not enter. But from my point of view, it looks like a bunch of models just waiting their turn to be caught on stage. So I walked down the main entrance, but was met with a closed door. Is the, uh, is it closed? We yeah, can't go through this one? Yeah, already closed. Oh, I see. It's so only like above the yeah, stage. Yeah, it's upstairs. Okay, that's gotcha. right. No, okay. okay, I wasn't letting a closed door stop me. So I found this other way right next to the bathroom. So I walked through, down these stairs, and across what looks to be a locker room, and up the stairs again, and voila, I came face to face with the main walkway. Now it's time for me to fulfill my dream that I've been having for about two weeks. Yeah, stand at the, at the end of one, and then like I'll walk from here to there, and I will just pretend that I'm walking the fucking Alright, there we go. Alright, let's do it. And there we go, I walked on the stage, although not very really straight because there was too many people along the way. But still, one of my objectives of walking down the runway with an outfit that I designed was completed. Next up, I wanted to get on the stage, but unfortunately, it was for VIP only and I needed a wristband. I was not able to complete this objective, but the people all loved my outfit and wanted to take photos. Soon the show started, but I realized that I didn't get any seats. So I walked to the front of the stage and watched the models firsthand come out and on from the side. After a few rounds of designer fashion, it was break time. And we'll see you back in 20 minutes. During break time it was basically a party in the middle of the stairway so funny. <laughs> i got to meet a lot of random people and people just wanted to take photos with us unfortunately it was way too hot because of all the lights and the amount of clothing that we're wearing Yo, it is hot as fuck. I am sweating my ass off right now. Look at that. Oh. But the good thing is, once break was over, we got to sit down on the bleacher, becoming even closer to the stage. And to start off, this girl group came and did a dance for us. And it looks like they just started. Go follow them or something. I think my goose is amused. Now let me just say, these fashion projects are actually kind of crazy. These guys are wearing Crocs. And then afterwards, a rapper came out dressed like a Pope, came and started singing on the middle of the runway, which I thought was pretty damn hype. And honestly, this one is my favorite design out of the entire show. Just look at it bounce along the wind and how far that headpiece drags. Definitely something that I would wear once. Afterwards came break number two and I just need to get some food because I was super hungry. Get some food or something. We got to the second floor, grabbed a packet of tortilla chips and then these cupcakes, which were actually so freaking good and started munching down. I couldn't get enough, so I went back for another cupcake and then a juice box because I was thirsty and went back on the stage for some final performances. Check it out, it's the actual Little Red Riding Hood. At the end of the show, all the models came walking down the stage in what seems to be like a human wave. And I just can't help to wonder, what a crazy life this must be, having your job be wearing stuff and walking down a runway. I also wondered too who invited me here in the first place. Do they know who I am? Do they know that I'm here? Do they know how ridiculously I'm dressed? These might be questions that we'll never know. We are all done here. And it was time for me to make my great escape. Thank you hey, thank you. you. Thanks. It's cold. It's finally cold. I've been like dying of heat in there. Holy shit. What's your opinion of the show? Lots of uh, interesting outfits that I personally wouldn't wear on the streets, but I, I, I mean, that's what a uh, designer is all about. That is indeed what designer is all about.